Hello students, let us continue the session on linear equations in one variable. Till 95th questions we had done in previous sessions. Now this would be the last session. We will be solving the remaining questions. Followed by I will be giving few of the questions for you to practice. Question 96. The perimeter of a rectangle is 240 centimeter. If its length is increased by 10% and its breadth decreased by 20%, we get the same perimeter. Find the length and the breadth of the rectangle. As per the given question, the perimeter is 240 centimeter. We all know that for a rectangle, 2 times the length plus breadth will be equal to perimeter. Hence, we get length plus breadth as 120. For instance, let us take the length of the rectangle as x. So the breadth will become 120 minus x. If the length is increased by 10%, the new length will be, so let me mention here, new length will be x plus 10% of x which is nothing but x plus 10 by 100 times x on simplification we get it as 110 upon 100 x and they have given that breadth is decreased by 20% so the new breadth will be equal to actual is 120 minus x. Now we need to subtract 20% of 120 minus x. Hope it's clear to you. 120 minus x minus this will be 20 upon 100 times of 120 minus x. This we need to further simplify. For simplification, I will make use of the property. Here we have some, uh, say this is y and say this is y, I can take y as common so that this will be 1 minus 20 by 100. So the same procedure, 120 minus x is taken common, we will be getting 1 minus 20 by 100. This is same as 120 minus x multiplied to 80 upon 100. This will be the new breadth. As per the given question, the perimeter will remain same. So what should I do now? Let me consider the perimeter equal to 240. The new length, new length plus new breadth multiplied by 2 will be equal to the perimeter 240. The new length is 110 upon 100 times x. The new breadth is 80 upon 100 times of 120 minus x. This is equal to 240. Now this can be simplified by dividing both the side by 2 we get 120 in the right hand side, in the left hand side this 2 get cancels, 
further i can take lcm as 100 if 100 is the lcm this will be 110x plus 80 multiplied to 120 is 9600 minus 80x this is equal to 120 110 minus 80 is 30 30x plus 9600 is equal to 120 to be multiplied with 100 we get 12000 this implies 30x is equal to 12000 minus 9600 will be 2400 so x value we get it as 80 so the length will be 80 cm and the breadth will be 120 minus 80 which is 40 cm these are the dimensions question number 97 the age of a is 5 years more than that of b 5 years ago the ratio of their ages was 3 is to 2 find their present ages let me consider the present age of b as x years so the present age of a will be 5 more than x so 5 plus x years so let me mention present age of b b x years then the present age of a will be equal to x plus 5 years 5 years ago age of a will be x plus 5 minus 5 which is x years and that of age of b will be x minus 5 years according to the question the ratio of their ages before 5 years is 3 is to 2 so i need to simplify this equation we need to cross multiply we get 2x equal to 3x minus 15 so negative x is equal to negative 15 so x value is 15 therefore the present age of b is 15 years and the present age of a is 15 plus 5 which is 20 years so b's age is 15 a's age is 20 question number 98 if numerator is two less than denominator of rational number and when one is subtracted from numerator and denominator both the rational number in its simplest form is 1 by 2 what is the rational number for instance we consider the denominator of that rational number to be x the numerator will be denominator minus 2 so let me consider uh, denominator of rational number b x then numerator will be equal to x minus 2 according to the question if numerator is subtracted by 1 and denominator is subtracted by 1 we get 1 by 2 so x minus 2 minus 1 upon x minus 
is equal to 1 by 2. Now this is a very simple equation. We need to simplify. On simplification, we get the value of x as 5. So the denominator is 5 and the numerator is 5 minus 2 which is 3. So the rational number will be 3 by 5. I want you to solve this equation and get the value of x as 5. Question number 99, we have solved this type of question. In a two digit number, the digit in units place is twice the digit in tens place. If 27 is added to it, digits are reversed. Find the number. If I consider the tens place as x, then the units place will be 2x. Let tens digit of two digit number be x, then units digit will be 2x. Therefore, the number is 10 times of tens place plus units place. This will be 12x. On reversing the digits, we get 10 times of 2x plus x, which is 21x. According to the question, 12x plus 27 is equal to 21x. This is pretty simple equation. So 21x minus 12x will be equal to 27. This will be 9. 9x is equal to 27. So the value of x is 3. Therefore, the required number is 12 times of 3, which is 36. Question number 100. A man was engaged as typist for the month of February in 2009, he was paid rupees 500 per day, but rupees 100 per day were deducted for the days he remained absent. He received rupees 9,100 as salary for the month. For how many days did he work? This is a very interesting question here if i consider the man has worked for x number of days in the month of february how many days he remained absent we all know that february 2009 is a leap year so the number of days in leap year in the month of february is 29 so the number of days he was absent is 29 minus x so let me mention that let the men work sorry the man worked as a typist for x days in the month of February, two thousand nine, then absent in the month of February, two thousand nine is twenty nine minus X. They have mentioned that payment per day is rupees 500. If x number of days he has worked, the total paid amount paid amount for working days 
will be 500 times x which is 500 x and as per the given question the day of absent he was detected rupees 100 from his salary so the total amount detected being absent total amount detected for being absent will be 100 times of 29 minus x and they have given that the salary received for the month of february is 9100 so According to the question, the total amount he was supposed to get minus 100 times 29 minus x, the number of days he was absent is 1900. This is as per the given question. This equation is to be simplified. On simplification we get the value of x and you will come to know the number of days he has worked try getting the answer as 20 please solve it on your own question number 101 it is very important question this type of question you will come across in both class 9th and class 10th too a steamer goes down downstream and covers the distance between two ports in three hours. It covers the same distance in five hours when it goes upstream. If the stream flows at three kilometers per hour, then find what is the speed of steamer upstream. Let us consider speed of the steamer in still water be x kilometer per hour. They have given that the speed of stream is 3 km per hour therefore the speed of steamer steamer downstream is x plus 3 km per hour and the speed of steamer upstream is x minus 3 kilometer per hour why this is x plus 3 why this is x minus 3 i'll give an example most of you must know how to swim if you swim in a river in the direction of the water flow the speed increases if you swim in opposite direction of the river the speed decreases so here the speed of water is added along with what speed of steamer in downstream whereas it decreases in upstream so as per the given question the distance covered in 3 r by steamer downstream is same as the distance covered in 5 hours by steamer in upstream. We all know that distance is given by speed into time because speed is defined as distance upon time. So distance will be speed into time. So 3 multiplied to x plus 3 will be equal to 5 multiplied to x minus 3 this simple equation we need to simplify find the value of x that will be the speed of steamer in 
still water find out the solving he will get x as 9 sorry 12 kilometer per hour this is in still water in upstream it will be x minus 3 which will be 9 kilometer per hour question number 102 a simple question a lady went to a bank with rupees 1 lakh she asked the cashier to give her rupees 500 and rupees 1000 currency notes in return she got 175 currency notes in all find the number of each kind of currency in notes so total number of currency notes is 175 suppose if you consider uh, the number of notes of rupees 500 to be x then the number of notes of rupees 1000 is 175 minus x so 500 times of x will give the amount with respect to rupees 500 and 175 minus x multiplied to 1000 gives a total amount with respect to 1000 rupee note the total is 1 lakh this is a very simple equation find the value of x try getting 150 as the value of x so how many rupees 500 notes were there it is 150 and rupees 1000 there were 25 try it out question number 103 there are 40 passengers in a bus some with rupees 3 tickets and remaining with rupees 10 tickets the total collection from these passengers is rupees 295 find how many passengers have tickets worth rupees 3 this is like previous question the total number of passengers is 40 if x number of passengers are having 3 rupee ticket so 3 times of x will give the amount with respect to rupees 3 as a ticket so 10 times of 40 minus x this total is 295 this is the equation we require to simplify try finding you will get it as 15 question number 104 the denominator of a number is 4 less than its numerator if numerator is taken as x the denominator will be x minus 4 it's very simple if 6 is added to numerator it becomes thrice the denominator find the fraction this is the given fraction as per the given question if numerator is added with 6 this will be equal to 3 times the denominator from this you find the value of x once the value of x is obtained replace your if the value of x obtained is 9 this will be 9 by 9 minus 4 which is 9 by 5 so the given fraction is 9 by 5 i want you to try this out now i'll be giving few questions you can pause the video and note down these questions and try solving them few of the questions are very very important these are the first set of questions 105 107 
you need to write complete question then try answering that these are question 108 to 110 and these are the last questions 111 to 113 now we'll end this chapter next i'll be taking up and next chapter understanding quadrilateral in the next session thank you